Hey everyone, Eat Sleep from the Techies here, and today I'm going to be talking about some myths on why your computer slows down, and I'm going to also be talking about registry cleaners, and whether or not they are real. Of course they're real, but do they really work? Eh. So anyways, to talk about some myths on why your computer slows down, a really common one is that the hardware itself slows down. And for the most part, that's not true at all. Um, the hardware components of your computer are built to last. They're very stable, and they will almost always outlast the user in terms of when they want to replace their computer. You know, everyone, people will replace their computers every, who knows, two or three years maybe? It's probably closer to four, but the hardware components are designed and are built to last much, much longer than that. The only, the only thing I could think about um, actually degrading is a mechanical hard drive. Um, you know, some people will say that you, want, you should just sometimes turn off or unplug your external hard drives. But it's actually um, better if you keep your hard drives plugged into your computer and when your computer shuts off, your hard drive shuts off just so it gets used to that kind of um, use. So if you keep your hard drive off all the time when you plug it in it might it might degrade over time. So the, the issue of where computers slow down especially in the PC realm is the software itself. The operating system will get clunky you will you'll uninstall a lot of programs, you'll install a lot of programs and you'll have memory leaks from your programs and just a whole lot of software related issue and that's really why your computer will slow down so so then you think that you should reinstall your operating system and it'll prevent that yeah a lot of people do recommend to um, uninstall your operating system clean everything out and reinstall it reinstall all your programs but honestly it's it's time consuming and it's it's not really solving the problem it's just pushing the problem away it's going to happen whether no matter what maintenance it's actually better to um, come up with kind of like a routine for your computer that can be cleaning up your disk defragmenting your disk cleaning your registry out anything like that is actually better than just reinstalling your operating system and then having to go and reinstall all of those programs that were wiped. I mean, of course you can do it, and honestly, I would recommend doing it maybe like, if possible, once a year, but even so, I don't even think you need to do that. But you can. Um, so, w what is the registry? So the registry is where all of the little settings on your computer are saved. So that could be anything from you know how your desktop is laid out it could be you know where you store your passwords um, any any kind of little settings that you can think of that you've changed or that are that setting information is stored inside the registry so you can imagine that there are hundreds and hundreds of thousands of entries inside your registry that hold all of the information of how you've con configured your PC and of course with that many entries there's bound to be errors and there are there are tons of errors and you know just memory leaks everywhere and so over time the more the more use your computer gets the more you know obviously they have different settings you've installed programs you've uninstalled them and all that information can just bloat your memory and slow down your computer so there's a lot of things a lot of kind of you know the advertisements t speed up your computer ten times faster or you know this kind of like infomercial like advertisements that you see to make your computer faster and they're they're not true <laughs> yes a lot of these uh, programs they will actually do something but they'll do so little it's just completely neg negligible for how much this uh, these programs cost Windows actually has built-in utilities that can help you out with this for free and there are also tons of software out there that will do the same job as these these so-called um, you know like professional cleanup programs that you see out there 
So the two that I have open here are disk defragmenter and disk cleanup. Really, uh, this is probably like all you have to do. Uh, I would also recommend getting CC Cleaner, which is a free free program that's basically disk cleanup, but it's a lot more uh, advanced and invasive than disk cleanup. CC Cleaner will um, remove temporary internet files. It'll clean out your um, recycling bin. It'll so that's what Disk Cleaner does, and I would recommend, like, I haven't done this in months and months, but it's something good to do, and uh, it doesn't cost any money. It's built into the operating system. Um, so the other thing is defragmenting. So a lot of people think that defragmenting your registry will actually help it. Um, and that's what a lot of these these programs that cost you know forty fifty dollars will do. It'll defragment your registry and it'll say, oh, we've removed a hundred temporary files. Uh, you know that's great. Of course, of course it's fine. You know that I'm sure that that's a completely legitimate um, number. But the issue is that there are hundreds of thousands, hundreds of thousands of entries in that registry. Removing a hundred is completely negligible like it's not it's not going to you're not going to see an increase in performance in your computer whatsoever um, it's kind of like the placebo effect where you know oh look I removed all these errors from my computer it must be faster now it's really not it's really kind of the same so come up with some kind of maintenance schedule if you're a really big PC user and uh, it'll prolong the life of your computer and um yeah so thanks guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video um i'm gonna make more of these uh how to keep your computer healthy you know myths and some tricks on some registry registry tr tweaks sorry and stuff like that so thanks for watching guys eat sleep from the techies bye be sure to check out the techies website for great game and software reviews as well as a database of all techies videos. Also, please sign up to our forum where you can request a tutorial or just talk about something that interests you.